Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, I'm going to address cloning issues inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out my free video series available on my website. I recently photographed my friend Angie's wedding. She's a fellow photographer and a very good friend of mine. Please check out her photos via the link below and leave her some encouragement on the blog. She's in a very serious battle right now and she'd love to know that you're thinking about her. When I began editing this photo, I noticed that there was a gap in her eyelashes and because I am a detail person, it really bothered me. So what we're going to do today is use the clone stamp in order to add those eyelashes into the gap. So again, here is the before and here is the after. And actually what I started with with this photo was my retouch action that I created. Here is the before. Let me go ahead and zoom out with a command or control minus. This is before and this is after. Zooming in is command or control plus use your space bar to access your pan tool. And let's go ahead and look at that before and after. My retouch action is available on my website via the link below. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a new blank layer, but I don't like to take the time to go to the layers palette to select the icon. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut and the keyboard shortcut in order to create a new blank layer without any questions being asked is command option shift N. That's control alt shift N on the PC. And holding down the alt or option with that key combination is what allows you to add layer one without a dialog box appearing. I'm going to press S on my key in order to access the clone stamp. And I'm going to check out all of the settings in my tool options bar at the top. A lot of people struggle with the clone stamp. And the first thing that I suggest is if it's not working the way you anticipate is to look at your tool options and make sure that everything looks good, such as the mode, opacity, and flow. In this case, I created a new blank layer. Therefore, it is critical that the aligned sample is all layers, because if I had this selected to current layer, then it wouldn't work. I would get an error message. Okay. First thing we need to do with the clone stamp is define a source or a target. So let's go ahead and press alt or option on our keyboard and click right about here. And then we're just going to click and drag in order to brush some of that eyelash into place. I want to fill this in a little bit more. So I'm going to press alt or option to define a new source right about here. And I'm going to click and drag and pull up there. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's see the before and after. But you know what, I think we can align it a little bit better. So I'm gonna press Command or Control Plus a couple more times, space bar to access my pan tool. And let me see this before and after. I think it could benefit from a little bit of a rotation. So I'm going to access the free transform tool by pressing Command or Control T on my keyboard. If you place your cursor outside of any of the corners, you can click and drag to rotate. And so what I'm doing is just lining up that lash line a little bit better. And when I like it, I press enter or return to commit the change. And then I'm going to look at the before and after. And if it looks that good close up, then I imagine when I zoom out using command or control minus, and I look at the before and after, I'm really happy with the way that looks, and I think it was a pretty simple edit. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.